come in it. They could smell the meat. Yeah. I don't know what else would, but I mean, they literally circled camp. Yeah. Freaking crazy. There's always highs and there's always lows, and it seems like the lows make the highs that much better. It's just unbelievable, man. I like the sound of that. First time I've had a bow in my hand in you know, three, four years. I'd love to have some fun. Your name, amen. 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 Your sensibilities, all the rules that make us society. Want to misbehave, want to set you free. I want to break you. It's just the team of guys that we have is just pretty epic. If there's any way that we can inspire people to enjoy the outdoors and hunting and anything like that, that's at the top of the list for me. Got my elk killing a tire on. I like it. Hunting with Mr. REI Steve here. Yeah. Patagonia be pissed you're hunting in it. I know. I actually really despise Patagonia, but I like this shirt. It's comfortable when it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Evening hunt. We uh, moved locations and did a little base camp. We'll be here for a few days. And start poking into new, well, some old country, new yeah, country. Yeah, hunted, I hunted this country a lot back in the day for probably eight years. Uh, killed my... I guess my second year of bow hunting, I killed a cow up here, or a calf, depending on how you want to remember it. <laughs> <laughs> she was smaller than I thought when I got on it. <laughs> uh, haven't been back here in a long time, though. It's going to be low densities. Uh, we're going to have to work for it. I don't think we're just going to walk in and get one like we did with Cody's. Different unit, a um, little bit more pressure, but we'll get her done. We'll find one. Welcome to the backcountry. Um, this morning's been a little trial and error where we were gonna go, what we were gonna do. We had a, we stuck to the plan, but it was kind of an adjustment whether other people were hunting what we planned on hunting. So it's a brisk start of 9 a.m. Pretty good for a 6 a.m. wake up call. Yeah. Yeah. But we're gonna do it. <sighs> good hiking. Yeah. <laughs>
sleep in <laughs> not gonna lie um we're gonna do a drainage kind of a to b hunt up a drainage come all the way back down another drainage so shuttle bike up to the truck it's gonna be a good day good steve's day. gonna kill one 11 11 30. <laughs> <11 /30. laughs> guys it is uh let's see here Straight up noon. It was about three and a half mile hike into here. We're just kind of starting to get in the basin. Steve looks back, he's like, um, I'm texting our buddy, well, Jake or Jakey Poo. Jake Havala, Havala Chica Chica uh, <laughs> is how I spelled it on the, oh, you guys can check it out on the Alaska video from Kodiak. Anyways, he's got a tag and we're actually gonna meet him uh, tomorrow. So Steve is like, you guys have been at it for 32 days. You're fatigued. Um, I'm fresh. I got good legs, and I just want to go more go on an exploratory mission. So uh, we're headed back to the truck. Go seek our soak our feet in the river and have an afternoon, just relaxing, getting recovered. So it's been a grind. I feel like about this big of a man right now that I'm not going on that hunt with Steve. But he pretty much told us this wasn't an option, and he's going to go do that. 
power through the head of this basin and up over the top and into the next one. So we're gonna wander back to the truck and camp and uh, call it a afternoon. Go get some rest, some food. It's just kind of weird feeling. I don't, I don't really, I wasn't given an option that I could essentially. He's like, just go get some rest so we're fresh and kill Jacob Bull. So we got about two days to do that and make it happen. So wish us luck. Hopefully, Steve said he's gonna kill Spike, bone it out, one trip it out by himself. He's a man. <laughs> Wolves are going off. Steve's checking, it looks like wolf tracks over here. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay, I gotta come over. Yeah, I saw that and I'm like, And what's happened here? Well, that came back. Yeah. There's like multiple meat out. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that was close. <laughs> <laughs> yards so a wet paw on this side so it had crossed it up there somewhere yeah there's elk meat is right there. yeah elk meat's right right there in those trees camp uh so i was woken up with earplugs in to wolves in camp uh, we just walked over and they were 100 yards from us so in my wisdom of being startled up, I, I was sleeping like this and I went, oh God, wolves. So I reached out and I grabbed this one. Went, now I'm safe. <laughs> I wasn't safe. <laughs> Didn't do anything. There was a chase burrito just laying there. <laughs> They're using me as bait. <laughs> no, it was really cool though. I, once I kind of woke up and realized that that wasn't gonna protect me. <laughs> I kicked that back off and just listened to him. And that was my first experience of hearing that. And that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was pretty wild. Steve was in the mansion all by himself and I was up in the fort. So <laughs> Chase was the bait. <laughs> I could have died. <laughs> I mean, what, 80 yards to the cut trucks? Yeah. Right there. They were coming in. They could smell the meat. Yeah. I don't know what else would, but I mean, they literally circled camp. Yeah. That'd be crazy.
Hitting that onyx book hard. Yeah. You're just gonna tell me what to do now. Come back in five. the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> so close. It only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, not bow hunting. I feel like that's an old guy saying because I have no idea what that meant. Give up and back out and like, or push, push the edge a little. The only thing I was concerned about is I didn't know if there was more to his to the lower right. But no, you're right. he did good. I mean, sneaking up there is the only play. Yeah, yeah. It's like I know he was up. I kept hoping he was just gonna. Oh, I know. When he cut me off, yeah. on that I did a that bull's calling cow bugle where it's like short lip ball and chuckle. Yeah. When he fired back, I was just like. That's what Noah's bull did. Like I did that one time, and he just boom, 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 boom. Just, so he came right up to the edge of that lip, like within 20 yards for sure. Yeah, I was just waiting to see tines, but no. Nope. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, right. Cody's wife. Yeah. We'll get one tomorrow. <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. All right, what do I say? <laughs> <laughs> Starting off great. It's it was uh it was a good day. Oh, there's a little resentment from Cody actually. Zero resentment. Actually, dude. a lot. Great. Well, you want me to turn this off? Does that work? Uh, no, it was great. I mean, I learned how amazing this guy is at calling. Like, it sounds a hundred percent different. Not gonna lie, in person than on the camera. But no, I mean, it was a great time. We got in elk towards the half at the end of the end of the day and. It just was a crappy situation. They were just in the open and I couldn't couldn't make a shot happen or just really get into a spot where I could even see them. So we called them in, but yeah, we're just gonna go at it tomorrow morning and these guys are ready to go home. So hopefully we can make something happen. I'm gonna go make some food.
we got going on here? Uh, so we're doing a little soccer. Pasta. <laughs> 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 I've been packing that thing all season trying to figure out when and where. <laughs> Dude, I'm literally looking at that thing like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting behind my, oh man. Oh, green apple, it sounds Just iced, Jake, so. <laughs> Life is good. Life is good. <laughs> hey, cheers. Yeah, to a knee. Why not cheers anybody? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Did it. There's a lot, a lot of carbonation in that one. Carbonation. <laughs> Been waiting a couple years oh, for that. Dude. Legal too now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Gotta go big last night. It's kind of weird. It's kind of a... It's like a bittersweet deal, right? Like, it's been a long ride all the way to here. Um... Yeah, it's like the last day of our trail cutting. It's it, it's honestly it's a sad day, but um, excited to see our families and spend some time at home and uh, kind of get caught up on things before we kick into. We got so much stuff this fall. Um, rifle deer hunts coming back to Idaho the end of October. Trent and Trevor have rifle elk tags here in Idaho. Um, there's a Colorado rut hunt that Steve. Eric and Trent are going on. Um, then we've got Waterfowl, the whole Flyway channel. If you guys have never seen uh, our other channel that we started, it's called the Flyway, and uh, that's where we chase birds anywhere and everywhere, and uh, including gobblers in the spring or bulls in the spring, as I like to say. It's kind of a miniature elk hunt, um, but we're doing all that all the way through February. So lots of stuff going on. Um, but hopefully, you guys are enjoying all these videos. Like we set out the goal to have a big game video every Monday of the year. So we're, we're I think we've got a good start on collecting that and uh, making that happen. So you guys can always come back to the channel and watch those new videos Monday. So with that, I'm going to boil some hot dogs. It's the last day of our tree elk hunting, and uh, we're actually just covering country right now, just trying to locate a bull. Um, just trying to maximize our time that we've got. It all looks good, it all looks the same, it all holds elk, just trying to find one that wants to play the game, so. Giddy up, let's go on. It's going fast. It's a good day for work, nice and cloudy and cool. All we need to do is for me to kill one.
saw me. Just a little one. Yeah, it looked like, like my boy. Perfect. Mistake number one, where's your rangefinder? Surprised Doug Flutie didn't pipe back. Yeah. I, I was I'd... just trying to get to this ridge. I was going to sound like I was literally going to stop and sound check. Mm -hmm. Looked across and. That might have been the second. Yeah. Win some, we lose some. Kind of lost that one. <laughs> Man, if we busted, oh, if we busted like, this one, he's not coming back in. Every day, every, every moment's a test for you. I know. Every time you ask me a question, I piss my pants and start shaking. I'm worried I'm going to fail the test. Now let's go up that one. If you saw that one, he didn't look like he was too interested. Might be a hunter view. I didn't hear. So we're going to drop off this nice ridge. <laughs> I can't say thank you enough for you guys. Just you guys totally could have totally went home. So. Oh no, I'm, I was expecting to hunt through today and go home <laughs> tomorrow. So well, I appreciate it. Yeah, I had a blast. Oh, it's such a bittersweet deal leaving elk camp. Uh, this is day 34, and uh, we're headed home, babe. Coming home to see you and the kids. Can't wait. But. Um, yeah, it's like the last day we got on a bull and chased him all around and another hunter sounded like got on him and maybe got him killed. So hopefully congrats to him, but uh, it's just the way the cookie crumbled today. And uh, we got a long drive home and uh, just really feel fortunate and blessed to be able to go do what we've done for the last uh, five weeks. So <sighs> yeah, it's uh like I said, it's, bitter, it's bittersweet. Uh, the end of archery elk is over for us, but we have a pile of other stuff coming up here in October. And uh, don't fret, new big game video every Monday, 4 p.m. dropping your way. So hopefully you guys are enjoying everything. We had a heck of a season, blessed with some awesome bowls and some great opportunities and uh, couldn't be happier the way everything went down. So until uh, next time, we'll see ya.